Don't do it for her. But she is a mirror. Showing you exactly what a masculine man needs to be. A dangerous man is a man who possesses the ability to go to war if necessary. A monster. But a controlled monster. Every single superhero or action movie showcases a man capable of great violence, yet he uses it for good. This is the difference between a madman and a dangerous man. Dr. Jordan Peterson puts it in this way that is bitter truth, but irrefutable. A harmless man is not a virtuous man. A virtuous man is a dangerous man who has that in control. He has the animal inside him on leash. Well the madmen of the world fully embody that animal and let it run amok. Causing destruction and chaos. The reason why harmless man is not virtuous is because he doesn't pose a threat. He doesn't possess the ability to do anything anyways. But history has shown that, when such men acquired power in one way or another, they brought upon the humanity their wrath in full force. Partly because a harmless man is usually oppressed or unsatisfied with himself due to lack of masculinity. So, when he gets the chance, he lets out all his resentment and becomes the worst of the worst. Women love wild and dangerous men that they can tame. It is in her DNA to seek such a dangerous man. As he ensures survival and provides strong genes. But modern day dangerous man is usually the worst kind. The bad boys are criminals. This eventually led women to be scarred by such men permanently. She is hardwired to respond to him because of her biology, especially at a young age. But as soon as a woman matures enough, she will ditch such a man and go for a man who is economically stable. But this is a compromise. She will not be satisfied with a man who has no backbone. A harmless guy is simply not the choice of people around him. It is not to demonize harmless men or try to bring out their animalistic side. It is to highlight the fact that a man's survival is in his masculinity. Not the femininity and harmlessness that the modern world is preaching. Masculinity is getting alienated like it's some sort of curse. And more ambiguity is being introduced. Harmlessness has nothing to do with being a good man or a peace lover. You must possess the ability to take peace with force when there is no other way. This is why women are always fascinated by serial killer documentaries and all sort of animalistic men like vampires and werewolves. Those men speak to the submissive side of a female. Dangerous men when getting manipulated by a female, give her a great sense of power and authority. And she adores it. But the question arises. What is a dangerous man in this modern world? It can be articulated in several ways. But one thing is certain. It is a man who has the backbone to stand by his ideals and never bends the knee. A masculine man who is unapologetic about it. Dangerous in a sense that he won't take a beating and just sit there like a good boy. You might picture a muscular guy who knows how to fight. But not quite. Although I would definitely affirm that learning how to fight is a great way to feel confident and embody this dangerous side of yourself. As you can actually throw your punches when a situation arises. But it has more to do with a man who simply doesn't accept a beating. Think of it this way. Many times, we have seen a man in movies getting beaten to death by his overly powerful opponent. But he gets up no matter how many times he is knocked down. Now this is a dangerous man. And sooner or later his enemy realizes that they just can't defeat him. This is what David Goggins calls as, taking souls. That you are so persistent and your eyes show that absolute animalistic thirst to win, that even your enemy that is clearly more powerful than you, is terrified of you. As though, you have taken their soul from them. This is a man who thrives in conflict and adversities. This is a man who enjoys pain and starts to feel good about it. This is what it means to be a monster. A soul that is unbreakable. This is a clear portrayal of a man who is a monster mentally, because despite being the odds against him, he still won't go down. And when he gets on top, he keeps his ego in check and doesn't try to destroy his enemy. Now if you are mentally weak, you will let the animal rule you. And if you are mentally strong, you will use this beast to win every single fight. This is why women love conquering such men. Because she has tamed an animal that is untamable. Of course, it is all out of love and the man is in full knowing of that. And if she misuses it, she will pay the price. But she wants such a man. And you want to become such a man for your own sake. And when you combine this animal inside you with your God-given masculinity, you achieve the pinnacle of manhood. An alpha. The animalistic men use this power for chaos. They have many women and to satisfy their ego, and this corrupts their soul. 
And the dangerous man that Dr. Jordan describes uses this power to assert his dominance and then use it for the good of people. And this is called being virtuous. When you are in the position of annihilating someone and you don't do it. While well, a harmless man cannot annihilate anyone. Therefore, his virtuousness will always be questioned. And this powerlessness is simply unattractive to women. Power can be defined in many ways. Like learning how to fight, being rich, being in position of power politically, or anything that puts you on top. Choose your way and go for it full force. But always keep a masculine perspective. When others know that there will be consequences if they mess with you, then you have truly become a dangerous man.